touchy, but I like it, man. Plus, it's purple. It's purple. You can see from the inside. Oops. It was really easy to install. I really didn't do nothing. I just kind of pushed it behind the window <laughs> between the dash. You can see a little closer. I'm going to try to get it more even. Let's see how this one's kind of sitting down. I'll try to get that more even later. But for the most part, dope. Changes like 15 different colors, but I'm purple. Because this is the purple theme car. Boo -doo -boo -boo. So, not too many additions besides the lights and this. What I'm using for my overflow tank. It's called the White Claw Hard Seltzer. I like the name White Claw. Car's white. It's got the purple accents on it. It's got the purple accents on it. So I'm going for it. So I just zip tied it to there. It's just a overflow. Overflow, you know, not too much. Not not too flashy. You know. You know. Still looking for this right here. I went to the junkyard today. And I acquired this. But once again, it doesn't fit. So my next thing, I might just cut this and then use one of these to connect the next bend. Probably have to use a bigger one. I do have quite a few on here, as you can see. So I'll figure it out, but that's next. That and to complete the light setup, all I did was wire the lights in. I still have the box and stuff sitting in here. Not sure exactly where I want to put it yet. Whoops, there you go. Not sure exactly where I want to put that yet, but that's that. And it'll probably gonna be hardwired right now. Like I'm just for testing purposes, it plugs into the cigarette lighter. I'll probably hardwire it to the fuse box later. And that's really it for now. I'm gonna come out here later. It's kind of hot, so I'm gonna come out here later and tinker around with this intake. See if I can get this to set up properly and go from there. Till then. Keep your hands dirty.